This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access, the link posted in the first comment. Clearly, this wasn't going to work for long, as they were advancing on two fronts. Then he recognized where he was and saw what was next to him. And I saw the recognition in his eyes before I realized what he was going to do. He swung the push broom above his head as hard as he could, slamming it into the sprinklers above him. Then he grabbed the fire extinguisher off the wall, ripped out the pin, and started charging at the Mexicans, blasting them with fine white CO2 powder. Just as he did that, the sprinklers caught and exploded water. You know what happens when one sprinkler goes off? Well, in this club in Mexico, they all went off. It caused complete bedlam. Like what would happen on Twitter if Justin Bieber admitted he was gay? The sprinklers doused everyone with water. All the fire alarms immediately went off. The clacks and horns blasted. The emergency lights went on. And the entire club, all 500 plus drunks, went into a complete panic. The bouncers and the manager freaked out and started running in all directions as Reject Bubba Sparks slipped past them and into the night, as cool as his airbrushed blacklight t-shirt. I actually stood there frozen for a second, drenched in Mexican water, breathing in nasty white CO2 dust, 130 decibel horns blaring in my ear, because I could not stop thinking to myself. That kid's a fucking idiot, and there's no doubt he will spend the majority of his life in a federal prison but that was the most awesome thing I've ever seen in my life.